Sweet Killarney. This was a gift from Ray Ray. Appreciate it, Ray Ray. Uh, and it's funny, I might have had this years ago, but I don't remember it. And I didn't go back through my uh, tobacco journal to, to check, so we're going to do a review. Um, why not? This is a unique mixture of selected tobaccos, including Virginia Burley, Maryland, blended with some black Cavendish and topped with a cream caramel flavor. Uh, to make this wonderful tobacco even more attractive, it is blended with hand-rubbed Virginia Flake, which results in a fantastic aroma. Okay. Um, I don't know when this is from. If uh, any of you guys know the barcodes on there, or, you know, what that means, you can tell me when it's from. Um, but I know Sweet Killarney's been around for a while, so... Here we go. Now I dropped this tin earlier. I might have break, broken the seal. I can get it. What to do with this? There we go. I can't do a bean 316 and <clears throat> just rip it open. Comes with a nice little pox on top. Mm -hmm. A little light caramel, almost kind of smells fallish. Uh, kind of reminds me of like a first smell, reminds me of like a fall festival kind of thing. Um, so it's a broken ribbon cut. There you go. I'm gonna have it in the Medico unnamed uh, Medico. Uh, this was not drilled when I got it. I believe that this is a. Um, was going to be a Kensington line, just because that was kind of the rustication that, that uh, Mr. Firebach did on the Kensington line. I could be wrong, but that's what I choose to believe. So, But it's been a pretty good little smoker. It's kind of my general Virginia Burley, aromatic, non-Latakia pipe. Okay, not a whole lot of Black Cavendish in there. Mostly light leaf, so right. push this down on here. Mm Yeah. Ribbon cuts just plume out of the bowl. So up front, a very light hay note. Um, and then a little bit of caramel and a little bit of cream. Uh, kind of rounded it out. Tad bitey. Just a tad. Let's see how it settles in here. There's more of the grass from the Virginia. A little bit of that sour. A little of that cream there, and a little bit of bite. So. We'll smoke this down and come back to you with our final thoughts. Sweet Killarney. All right, guys. Coming down to the final third. Peterson, Sweet Killarney. Sweet Killarney. My dad used to sing me a song that I had never heard before until just recently. That's a bedtime song. Over in Killarney. Many years ago. I'm not much of a singer. Anyway, this made me think of that. So, um, 
this blend really starts shining about halfway through the bowl. Um, and why do I say that? The first quarter of the bowl, or the first third. Yeah. Um, the patty or the uh, garage note was pretty nice, um, but the uh, but the taste was lackluster. Not much there. A little bit of bite, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of cream, and then there was something else that was kind of fleeting in and out. I couldn't pick it up, and it got stronger in the uh, middle third, uh, and it's still there to a certain extent on the final third here. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't put my finger quite on it. But I'm fairly certain it's apricot, maybe mandarin, but I'm or like like mandarin oranges. But I'm I think it's apricot. Like there it was. But where it really shines in that second third, yeah, is one the bite goes away, two. Uh, the burly starts coming in. That that comfort toasty nuttiness that I just love out of Burleys. And then you get this nice little caramel that kind of comes in, comes out. Almost vanilla cream kind of thing. Not quite to me. It was more cream, just like a, like a cream in your coffee. And then this little apricot note. Which isn't bad. Um, it's similar. It's funny. The way that I feel about this blend is similar to the way, as far as the way it's made, I'll, I'll get to it in a second. Uh, I feel the same way about their Peterson's uh, University Flake. Because in that there's a blueberry essence. And you just think like apricots and blueberry just, to me, just doesn't go well with tobacco. I mean, the, the idea of it. And when you when you taste this, you're like, hmm, it works. I don't picture myself going, man, I want to have sweet Killarney. I don't always often picture myself saying, man, I want to have University Flake. But occasionally, it works because it's a little different on a on a classic take, right? Um, and I think that's where this shines. Now, the other place where this shines is the pat or the garage note. I keep saying patio. I will be more on the patio coming pretty soon. But um, but yeah. So this is a solid B minus. Uh, I like how the toppings are not overdone. You can taste the Virginia. You can taste the Burley. You can taste some of that that Cavendish. A little bit of that Maryland must is what I call it, kind of coming in and coming out. And and again, the the addition of that apricot kind of is just different, you know. There it was again. Really strong on a retro hill, by the way. Yeah, you kind of you kind of get a almost like a, a. I always pick up burly on the retro hill, but then with this one, you get that kind of chocolatey a little bit of a retro hill, but then you get this apricot on top. So, um, but there you have it. Peterson Sweet Killarney. If you think that might sound like it's up your alley, then by all means, pick up a 10. Um, but yeah, once again, thanks for to Ray Ray for uh, sending me this. And um, as always, I will see you very soon on another Paladin Piper video. Take care, guys.